Hi everyone and welcome back. This is the ASRock uh, 775 uh, Dual 880 Pro motherboard. On the sides you can see the Dual Series writing. I think it refers to the graphic card slots. Um, this board has both uh, AGP and PCI Express. But this motherboard also supports uh, DDR1 and DDR2 and also dual core Intel CPUs, so it's kind of hard to tell. On the back of the box, there are some results for 3DMark uh, 2003 and 2005, uh, and we're gonna check those later. And the picture showing both the uh, AGP and PCI Express cards uh, both being fitted into a system. The box contains the drivers on a CD, Uh, ID and floppy cables, the back plate, some uh, interesting information about using a PCI Express card on uh, Windows 98. Uh, you can pause the clip and read it and let me know if it's out of focus. It also contains the manual, and some other information about uh, hot plugging in a hard drive onto the motherboard. And now the motherboard. As you can see, the sticker fell off the AGP port uh, and it warns against using a 3.3 volts uh, graphics card with this motherboard. The CPU still has the protection in place, but around it some capacitors are bloated. Besides the AGP port, the board offers a 4x PCI Express and uh, 4 PCI connectors very useful for uh, other boards like a sound card, a TV tuner and others. On the storage side the board offers a floppy connector but I don't like its placement. Two IDE connectors and two serial ATA connectors. There are four RAM slots, uh, two for DDR1 and two for DDR2, but there's a warning never to use both uh, DDR1 and DDR2 together. On the back we can find the PS2 connectors, a serial and a parallel port, 4 USB, an Ethernet port and 7.1 channel audio jacks. Since the motherboard uh, had some bulging capacitors, I decided to use another one for my tests. This one is a 4 core dual serial ATA2 with uh, support for quad core CPUs, but pretty much everything else is the same, except for the serial ATA connectors that are now red and support the uh, serial ATA2. We will continue our 3.2 GHz journey with a 775 Pentium 4 CPU. There's an arrow on the CPU indicating the right way to position it on the motherboard socket. And now we'll assemble it onto the bench table. First, we'll add the CPU cooler, the Saiti Kabuto, 
It has a regular Intel 775 pushpin mounting system that I'm not very fond of. The motherboard has a regular 20-pin ATX connector and a 4-pin 12-volt connector. First, we will try out the video card to see if it allows for memory fitting without losing fingernails. No luck just as the regular socket A and uh, 478. And we'll proceed with adding the DDR1 RAM. Last, we added the video card and connected the IDE ribbon to the motherboard. And the socket 775 Pentium 4 3.2 GHz build is complete. Thank you and see you next time.